It's the start of another day. The last day was a little bit, uh, a little bit crazy. I, I got here and the room that I sleep in, they had left the light on and it was just covered in bugs everywhere because there's no door on this room. So, uh, and the floor was nasty. So I had spent, uh, as soon as I got here, I had to spend a lot of time cleaning it, getting all the bugs out and everything, but was able to get it all cleaned out. Um, got in here. I'm still sleeping on the floor. I, I did bring a pillow back with me, so that was nice. That was a benefit. But I forgot. I forgot about food. And so uh, I ate. Uh, <laughs> the only thing I have up here is cereal and water. So that was my dinner last night. This is my door. Uh, every night is the bottom of a bed. That's what I have to do for the door. Uh, mainly because I just don't want the cat to to get out and everything. So I let the cat sleep with me at night. Uh, you know, my bed's on the floor and and uh, looking forward to today just being able to relax hopefully get some things done that I need to get done and and maybe collect myself I have not really been able to focus and collect myself since being here I've been doing bouncing from one thing to the next so I'm gonna really try to just collect myself today Jaime yesterday said that he was gonna bring me breakfast so even though I was hungry my Holdover for breakfast was an old piece of gum I found in my bag. Uh, but now I'm going to go ahead and walk down my long driveway here and meet Jaime somewhere either in the middle or at the bottom to pick up my breakfast. Okay, poor man breakfast, but gallo pinto and eggs in a bucket. <laughs> my house is just right there. Um, but I've got to go up that hill, and they say it's quicker to go up the hill than to go around. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to go up this hill and skimmy my way up that uh, up the mountain. Okay, I, I swear these guys are like mountain goats because they want me to climb up this to get up to the hill. Wow. Let's just hope I don't kill myself, right? Well, I didn't kill myself. At least not yet. <laughs> Yeah, not only is it straight up, but all the grass is wet, so it's very slippery. So this is, uh, I think I'm just going to take the road and the, uh, the, the driveway next time, but for now, I'm about halfway. Now that Scott is here in Palakawina, he has the ministry truck, so I am using foot power to get everywhere I got to go so I've got a long walk ahead of me to go to the Pro Day Coop where I'm going to try to use their internet and probably eat lunch there so that I can use the internet but that's going to be my afternoon is trying to get caught up on some internet stuff and work on some financial things and get all that done so a lot of walking while I'm walking I went ahead and stopped at a local taller your local CVS on the corner I guess and uh, got a, a local naranja. Uh, it cost me uh, 12 cordobas, which is about 30 cents. Um, so nice cold drink while I walk on this hot day. Uh <laughs> Axiom for my job and also just uh, man getting a, a, so much stuff that needed to be done on the computer it's really really hard not having the internet uh, I think at this point I would rather have the internet than a toilet I'm amazed at how much we need or at least use the internet and I'm so used to it I feel very I don't know I feel like I'm missing so much not having it I'm gonna head to Jaime's briefly to try to get to some laundry done maybe and see them talk to them a little bit see how they're doing but this is turning out to be a fairly productive day i made a list of things to do 
and got every one of them done had to add more things to the list so that's that's good stuff that's that's productivity right there Enjoying a wonderful dinner tonight with Jaime and his family. Again, they're feeding me a lot. I'm very grateful. This is Jaime's daughter, Alex's daughter. Hey. And we're here just watching Wally and enjoying dinner. I got a couple of comments from people about the houses and the things you've been seeing me in. The homes that you've seen me in a lot are some of the nicer homes because some of the people that I, I'm, I know and I'm talking to are obviously some of the people that are more um, have more money, more successful, more connections with the U.S. And so typically what you have here, I'll try to get you a couple of the different houses, but this is a very nice home here. This is a concrete uh, block construction, a uh, very solid and strong home. This is probably the upper echelon of homes that you'll find here in Palakawina. And then this is your next level down. You'll get these kind of areas that have these, these bricks. Uh, you got two styles this. You've got bricks that are actually, this is the nicer brick with actual mortar and concrete holding it together. Uh, a lot of the bricks, uh, the next stage down, I'll try to find one, is a hand-packed brick held together by mud. Um, that's your next level and then the level below that is going to be sticks that are lashed together and then covered in mud to make the walls and so those are kind of the levels of the homes that you'll see out here and in fact I'm going to try not to be rude and just film somebody's home but if you look behind me um, you'll see buenos dias you'll see a home that's just exactly that it's the sticks with the packed mud um, inside of it and so uh, that's your typical home out here is that because it's very inexpensive to build and it's what people can afford again when you start seeing me in all these homes with the concrete blocks and the nice walls those are your uh, your very successful people in this area and i'm blessed to know many of those people um, but that's um, that's it typical construction is not going to be a nice home like that so again, trying not to be rude, as I walk by, you can see one of those homes that have the hand-packed brick held together with mud. Um, that's kind of uh, what you've got, that other type of home I was talking about. So you've got all of different kinds of homes out here. This is a concrete brick one behind me as well. So you've got them all mixed out here. As you get closer into the city, it's mostly concrete and block construction. As you get further out into the country, um, it's all pretty much sticks and mud.